Hi, so uh, I have no idea where I got up to with the videos on this, so this is going to be short. What are we doing first? Well, first I bought some roller trees to put on here, which I then ended up putting on another guitar. Got them from Northwest Guitars, uh, then I put them on this guitar and a screw snapped off. So I've now got a bit of metal sticking out of the headstock. Next up, round the back, I blocked the trim. I uh, used a bit of chipboard, which just happened to be the right width. Drew it down to size and then used a permanent marker to make it brown. With everything in place, I started to look at the neck. There were several uneven frets, um, so I leveled them all down and then crowned them and polished them. <laughs> which, after being heavily covered in all the crap I put on it, plays a lot better. There's a lot more buzz on the E string than I'd like, but it's it's not actually any worse than uh, this actual Fender Strat here that I've got on loan from someone. On loan. I borrowed it. In conclusion, uh, I'm happy with it. If you picked it up in a guitar shop, you go, what a heap of shit, and put it back down again. But actually, for the cost of all the parts and my inability to build, it's turned out really well. The, the single coil pickups are actually quite fine and uh, I like it using both of them. The humbucker is quite trebly, that's got to go. And it's, the finish is irritating me. <laughs> it looks great, but it's, it doesn't feel good at all. So I'm going to have to bring that back down and then do something else with it. Hopefully maintaining the wood look, but who knows. You might not be able to see in the camera, or you might, but... Across here, my sweaty arm has dulled the finish as well, so that's that's not a good look. Uh, this isn't the end of this guitar. Uh, I'm going to refinish it and put a bit of hardware on it. Uh, and now I think I'll leave you with a few rubbishy sound samples. Bye.